Hey guys, it's Brad again. Today we are looking at two uh, WGS speakers, the brand new Invader over here and uh, the classic Reaper. Um, they've been selling that guy for a long time. So uh, we're going to start out with some bridge tone on a Les Paul on the Invader over here. Really, really nice. We're going to clean it up a little bit with some bridge stuff. Very cool. Really, really spanky. Gets kind of that like, you know, if you had a, a 335 or something like that, funk tone all day long. Um, we're going over here now to the Reaper. Still clean. Starting out on some bridge tone. Real bitey, real growly. Gonna try and clean her up just a little bit. So a little bit more bite, a little bit more top end, um, and we're gonna give it, give it some drive real quick, and I think that's gonna just make this Reaper sing. Um, let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's what that thing's made to do. Uh, we're gonna get really, really fuzzy here real quick. So not bad, it handles that pretty well too. Going to go back over here to the Invader. Uh, bridge tone with a lot of grit on it. Get it really, really fuzzy and gross for just a second. Uh, very, very cool. So a little bit woolier over on this side, a little bit more top end bite on this side. Handles drive really, really well, especially that kind of like saturated Marshley harmonic drive. Does really, really well with that kind of clean Brit uh, grossness, as I like to call it. So two WGS speakers, the Invader and the Reaper over here, both of them sound excellent.